China's Type 004 nuclear supercarrier revealed? China has begun building its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Type 004, a project designed to rival America's advanced Ford-class supercarriers. This ship represents a major milestone, combining nuclear propulsion, electromagnetic catapults, and the capacity to launch over 90 aircraft, including stealth fighters and early warning planes. The Type 004 marks the most ambitious step in China's shipbuilding history. Reports estimate a displacement of 110,000 to 120,000 tons and a length of 330 to 340 meters, placing it firmly in the same size class as America's Ford-class carriers. It will be the first Chinese surface vessel powered by twin nuclear pressurized water reactors, believed to generate 450 to 500 megawatts, enough to power propulsion, advanced radars, and electromagnetic launch systems. Unlike earlier Chinese carriers such as Liaoning and Shandong, which used ski jump ramps, the Type 004 adopts a catabar configuration, catapult-assisted takeoff and barrier-arrested recovery. Its electromagnetic catapults will allow aircraft to launch fully loaded, increasing range and payload. This design enables new aircraft types such as the J-15T heavy fighters, stealth J-35 multi-role jets, KJ-600 early warning aircraft, and future unmanned systems. With an expected air wing of more than 90 fixed-wing aircraft, the Type 004 nearly doubles the capacity of China's first two carriers. That combination of nuclear power, larger hangars, and electromagnetic launch gives it unprecedented operational endurance. Analysts say it will also serve as a testing platform for next-generation systems such as advanced radar, automated logistics, and high-energy shipboard technologies. To understand the Type 004's ambition, it helps to compare it to the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford class, the most advanced carrier afloat. Both ships share key traits, nuclear propulsion, electromagnetic catapults, and optimized flight decks. Yet they differ in power, maturity, and experience. The Ford class runs on two A1B reactors, producing over 700 megawatts, compared to the Type 004's estimated 450 to 500 megawatts. That extra energy supports the Ford's advanced radar, electronic systems, and future technologies such as directed energy weapons. The Ford can reportedly sustain up to 160 sorties per day, enabled by re-engineered weapons elevators and a refined deck layout. China aims to match that performance, but the Type 004 will be its first carrier attempting such operations. In aircraft terms, the Ford typically carries about 75 aircraft, including F-35C stealth fighters, E-2D Hawkeye early warning planes, and EA-18G Growlers. The Type 004 is projected to carry over 90 aircraft, offering greater numbers but relying on developing platforms like the J-35 and KJ-600. While the Ford benefits from decades of U.S. experience in carrier aviation, the Type 004 will test China's ability to integrate complex deck operations, maintenance cycles, and long-duration missions. The Type 004's arrival could reshape how major navies operate worldwide. Nuclear propulsion means it can remain at sea almost indefinitely, operating across the Pacific, Indian Ocean, and beyond. It's expected to anchor a carrier strike group with Type 055 destroyers, Type 054 Bravo frigates, and Type 095 nuclear submarines, mirroring the structure of U.S. Navy groups. This would allow sustained operations far from home ports and continuous presence in critical sea lanes. For the Indo-Pacific region, the implications are substantial. The U.S. Navy has long maintained an unmatched carrier presence, but the Type 004 signals that the United States is no longer the only nation with global-range nuclear carriers. It adds a new dimension of balance, compelling every major maritime player to adapt. This project also highlights China's growing industrial and scientific capacity. Building and managing a nuclear supercarrier involves thousands of specialists, from naval engineers to reactor technicians. If successful, the experience gained could extend into civilian nuclear energy and advanced ship systems. 
China's Type 004 nuclear aircraft carrier is not just another vessel. It's a statement of intent and innovation. Combining nuclear propulsion, electromagnetic catapults, and a large, versatile air wing, it bridges the gap with the world's most advanced fleets. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.